we want to reassure people that any materials that you do have out, we we keep renewing everything, and people will not be accruing any kind of fines. Um, and then when we get back up and operating again, people will be able to bring those materials back. We actually did shut down our book drop, um, so we're asking people to hold on to everything that they have. But we have tried to move some of our programming into the virtual land, library land or the world of online um, programming. We've been keeping up with our story time programming. Our uh, fabulous children's programmer, uh, Carla Karlovich, um, has been posting, regularly posting um, story time programming each day. Um, and that will continue on Wednesdays sorry, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays each week around 10 o'clock. Those will go up on our Facebook um, page, and um, people will be able to see those through Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Um, our Thinkers and Tinkers programming, which we have been doing with its a, a STEAM programming, um, unfortunately, we can't do that in person right now, but we certainly are being able to offer that uh, a couple times a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays through our new uh, Gravenhurst Public Library YouTube channel. Some of the other things we're doing are um, we're really promoting our uh, online and virtual resources. So, for instance, we have um, th there's thousands of book titles available through Overdrive. Um, which is also called Libby. It's called Libby now, and um, that is those are downloadable ebooks and e audiobooks, and the the, um, the ability to download those. You just basically go to our website and uh, check out our e resources for those. We've actually added quite a few, a couple hundred more titles um, over the last month in order to satisfy um, demand. We also are, are promoting our RB Digital streaming resource. The RB Digital actually encapsulates um, Acorn TV. People are familiar with Acorn. For, for, it's, again, it's a free resource available to anybody who has a library card, um, which reminds me, I wanted to mention that we actually have renewed library cards for all of those whose cards would have expired back in September of last year up to um, July of this year. So people shouldn't have any issues being able to check out those resources with, um, um, with, their, with their library card. And people who want to use the services that we have online can also uh, apply for a temporary library card through our website. In terms of our um, other resources that we've got uh, to highlight uh, include consumer reports. We've got those available through our website online. We've got Mango Languages for anybody who wants to take some time right now to learn a new language. That's available. Um, Novelist, which is a great resource for um, people who uh, like want to read authors that um, are similar to the authors they've been reading. It's and also a great place for book re recommendations. Um, World Book Encyclopedia is available through our website for anybody's, um, you know, young people who are doing research, children who are doing research. Um, Tumble Books has been made free, uh, that freely available by the the company, the Tumble Book Company, um, and those are all electronic books, interactive books for children um, of all ages, actually. Um, We've really shifted from that physical space, that physical library, to the virtual library. Um, yeah, so it's exciting.